today i would like to show you an interesting case of 15 years old male patient that came with a central decrease of vision his vision was 660 both eyes and not uh, much improving with refraction now here we are doing his uh, indirect ophthalmoscopy with a 78 diopter lens and you can see his fundus you can see the, these black pigmentary changes this shows the atrophic retina and there was a central uh, roundish golden yellow lesion on the fovea so we diagnosed this case as a case of star gar disease star gar disease is one of the most common macular fundal dystrophy first described by german ophthalmologist karl star gar in 1909 it is a genetic disorder caused by the mutations involving a b c a4 gene through autosomal recessive pattern the patients may be asymptomatic but most commonly they present with bilateral central visual loss photophobia color vision defects central scotomas and slow dark adaptation now visual deterioration is rapidly progressive most often occurs in early adulthood like in our case and vision may be in the range of 69 to 660 color vision is typically compromised red green dyschromatopsia can be noted now here uh, with the help of a smartphone and 20 diopter lens we are showing you the fundus of the patient you can see the pale disc thread like vessels arising from the optic disc and beaten bronze macula So the fundus shows non-specific macular mottling that progress to beaten bronze appearance. There are also numerous yellow-white fish-like lesions at the level of RP in the mid periphery, and that shows lipofuscin accumulation. FFA shows dark choroid. OCT demonstrates flex and atrophy. visual fields show central scotoma and is used for the monitoring the progression erg shows subnormal photopic and normal scotopic values so the treatment of the star guard is that you have to avoid sunlight use sun shades all the time give spectacles for the refractive error and if not improving with common means you should give low vision devices vitamin a supplementation is avoided that's very important because it accelerates the lipofuscin accumulation in the retina so multivitamins should be avoided because all multivitamins contains vitamin a gene therapy and stem cell trials are under evaluation and shows promising results Now here you can see with the 20 diopter lens that golden metallic sheen of the fovea that is typical for the star gar disease here you can clearly see the fovea that's beaten bronze appearance so star gar patients should be consulted they should be given support support health therapy and uh, they should also be told that they will not get totally blind and they should use specs and low vision devices and avoid sunlight in order to increase their vision span 
सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द स्टार का डिजीज थैंक यू